Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Abby and I am on the publisher management team at ShareASale. Hopefully you've watched and are familiar with the first part of this training series, which was an overview of the homepage. Today we're going to go over how to search for merchants to promote. So that's obviously going to be the next thing that you'll want to do once you get your account up and running with ShareASale, is finding those programs that are going to be a good fit for your website. In order to access our merchant directory, we're going to hover over the Merchants tab and then select Search for Merchants. Within the ShareASale Merchant Directory, we have over 5,000 programs. So there's bound to be a brand in here that you love or that you've used yourself and that maybe you want to promote out to your audience. So we have some featured categories here at the top. We have over 40 different categories on ShareASale. Most of them are going to be retail based. So you'll see a breakdown here on the left hand side of all of the different categories we have here on ShareASale with a number next to them. So that number is going to be just how many merchants classify themselves as home and garden, as health, as green, etc. So you can see that home and garden and health are two of our more popular categories. Then we also have travel, sports and fitness, and then also webmaster tools here if you are a B2B service. By clicking on any of these categories, you can also access some subcategories as well. So if you don't necessarily have anyone in particular in mind of you wanting to promote, you can always break down the category to search for wellness merchants or maybe merchants that are selling supplements or merchants that are selling certain beauty products. So definitely keep that in mind that that is an option available to you. Now I want to get back to the main page of our directory just to kind of go over what these icons at the top mean. This new programs category are going to be programs that have launched either within the last seven days, within the last 30 days, 60 days, or you can even customize this report. So if you set a reminder for yourself to maybe check out merchants um, on a weekly basis that have launched, you can set this drop down menu to seven days and browse through all of the new programs that have gone live on ShareASale in the past seven days. It's definitely a good practice just to join these programs right from the get go and get up and running with them. Next to new programs, you'll also see our power rank category. So these are going to be our top 100 performing merchants based on a number of internal metrics. So you'll definitely want to check out our top performers probably on a weekly basis as well because this is consistently getting updated. You can also access our marketing calendar, which is something that we went over on the homepage overview webinar. But if you click on the marketing calendar, you can see all of the upcoming holidays and events that are going on. So if you click into Mother's Day for June, you can see how many merchants relate themselves to Mother's Day or maybe sell relatable products. And you can check them out and join their program from the marketing calendar section. To round out the icons that are at the top of the merchant directory, we also have clothing, home and garden, accessories, and so on. So you can scroll through the different popular categories that we have here in order to quickly access those particular sections. Just below these icons, you'll notice our spring and summer lookbook. So a lookbook is essentially our catalog that we release twice a year. So these are going to highlight some of our more popular programs across both ShareASale and AWIN networks. So you can view this online or you can sign up to have the lookbook mailed to you for free. So it's definitely a fun way to browse through programs to promote and also a good way to find some content inspiration as well. So you'll definitely want to check out our lookbooks as soon as they get released to find new programs to join. 
Next to the lookbook ad, you'll see a sponsored merchant. So this is a featured placement ad that the merchant has taken out in your affiliate account. So these are merchants that are wanting to gain some additional exposure to our affiliate base. Just below that, you'll see some of our trending merchants. You'll see the power rank number as well. So like I said, our power rank um, category shows off our top 100, and likely these trending mer merchants are going to be pulled from that specific category. So these, again, are going to be our top performers. If you see a merchant that is relevant for your content, but maybe your website is not quite ready yet, um, you don't necessarily want the program management team uh, to see your application, you can always star that particular program and add it to a list. So let's call the list join soon. And you can hit save now. And then you can compile a list of merchants that you want to add to that list. And they will all show up under your favorites. So you'll see the same star here. And then you can access any sort of list that you've created for yourself to have all of those brands in one particular spot. So let's dive in into the information that you can see about each individual program. For that, I'm just going to access our power rank category. So you can see it starts with power rank number one. And then you can also see if you've already been approved for the program, that's when you gain access to get their links. If you've been declined, or if the join program link is still active. So we'll use mypillow.com as an example here. You can see the commission rate that they're paying out per sale, their power rank status number, and also their EPC. So their EPC means earnings per 100 clicks. So this is going to be the potential for earnings that you can get with these specific programs. Now keep in mind that this number can be skewed based on the number of affiliates they have in their program. So obviously not everybody is going to join the MyPillow program, refer 100 clicks in within a 30-day window and earn that $110. Um, obviously it has to be relatable to your audience, um, a product that your audience will like. Um, it could be that, you know, the particular merchant has a few huge affiliates within their program that are driving the majority of traffic and sales over to their website, but this is just an average of all of the affiliates that have joined and the average of what they are earning within 30 days based on those 100 clicks. So you can see I clicked on the um, plus sign here to display more detail. From here, you can see the average sale amount your average commission payout, the reversal rate. So these are going to be the, the uh, percentage of commissions that they have voided out. Now keep in mind there may always be some level of return, especially with retail goods. We've all been there before where maybe we've bought two pairs of shoes knowing that we're going to send one back. So don't let this scare you away too much. Um, maybe if the reversal rate is above uh, 10%, you may want to red flag that merchant or maybe get in touch with the merchant first to have a discussion about why their reversal rate is so high. We also give you their cookie duration. So this is the tracking gap to which you can earn commissions. Typically on share sale, we see a cookie duration of about 30, 60 to 90 days. Essentially, this means if you refer a click over to my pillow and the consumer doesn't make a purchase right away, but they return within that 30 day tracking gap and make a purchase, you still earn commission on that. So the longer the cookie duration, the better. And then you can also see how many products they have in their data feed, which is something that we will go over in a future trading series. Over here underneath their logo, you can see the date that they launched on Share a Sale. And if they have auto deposit enabled, this should save their account from ever going offline and you having to deal with any sort of broken links. And then you can also see the date of their last compliance. 
This basically means that their tracking has been tested and it ensures you that it is working and firing properly. So you can click on their URL to go directly to their website or you can click on their organization name to view even more details about their program. So once I open up the merchant details page, you can see that I can now view their statistics in a seven day versus 30 day window. So these numbers are going to vary just a little bit. So now you can see the earnings per 100 clicks is at $107 in a seven day window. Another thing that you can see here is their conversion rate. So the number of clicks that eventually turn into sales. And then you can also see the date of their last transaction, which is going to be very important. If you come across a program who maybe hasn't seen a share sale affiliate referred transaction in a few weeks, that might also be a red flag and you may want to try and find other programs that are actively getting sales. This may not be the case with brand new programs, but if a program has, has been with us for a while and they haven't had any um, transactions lately, then you might want to find another program in that same niche. Now we also break down their desktop percentage of sales versus their mobile percentage of sales. So if your mobile version of your website performs well or maybe you have a mobile app, you may want to take these numbers into consideration and make sure that the merchant also has sales that take place on their mobile site, if that's where you're going to be referring traffic to. Scrolling down on the merchant details page, you'll find their merchant description. So this is written by the brand or by the program management team directly to try and sell their program to you as the affiliate. So definitely read through this. And also, a lot of times you can find the program manager contact information. So if you have a particular question about the individual program, definitely reference the merchant description page to find their email address. You'll also find a tab for their terms and conditions. So this is their legally binding document that they hold with their affiliates. Any sort of rules or regulations that they have with their program will be outlined here. You'll also find their commission rates. So once you apply to join their program, they might um, personalize your commission rate. So keep that in mind. If you see a low commission rate, but you know that the brand is going to perform well with your audience, just reach out to the program manager and see if they'd be willing to increase your commission. Now they may want to do a trial run and make sure that you have a proven history of sales or make sure that you are able to continuously be referring them um, meaningful traffic and sales before they bump you up, but it's definitely a conversation to have with the program management team there. And then any sort of PPC bidding rules they have will be outlined in this tab. Lastly, on the merchant details page, you can check out their creative preview. So you can view some banners and text links that they have available for you to put on their website. You can also view any coupons and deals they have available. So this will be especially important for any sort of coupon and deal space website. So we always provide you with the start and the end date, as well as the description of the coupon or deal. And then any newsletters that they send out to their affiliate base. So this is also going to be important to view as well just to make sure that they have an active program management team that truly does care about their affiliates enough to relay some information about their program to you guys. So once everything checks out on a program, you can hit join program. You'll have to click that you have read and agree to their program agreement. And then I highly recommend that you fill out this description box provided. Just because merchants receive tons and tons of blank applications every day. If you take a couple minutes to fill this out to introduce yourself and also introduce your website, it could help to speed up the approval process because it'll be one that they notice in their application queue.
it'll also help to start uh, kick off the relationship between you and the merchant. So if you want to include any stats from your media kit or include some content on um, some content ideas that you have for them or maybe ideas on where you plan to promote them, definitely let them know in this description box provided. Typically, it does take about one to two business days to be approved by merchants. Um, anything longer than a week, you should definitely reach out to their team regarding the status of your application. Now, there is another thing that I wanted to show you in the merchant search directory, and that is how to use the keyword search function. So if you're looking for a specific brand or a specific product, you can always enter in that keyword to find the results. So let's say that I'm looking for a planner to use for this year. So I don't necessarily have a particular brand in mind, but I am writing a um, roundup of different planners that I've used. So I'm going to enter that in the keyword search and then I'm going to modify this search. So let's say I want the program to be on share a sale or exclusive to share a sale, meaning that they're not going to be find on, found on any other networks. Let's say I'm an image-based website. So I wanna make sure that the merchant provides a data feed. A data feed is essentially an Excel spreadsheet of the merchant's products with a number of required fields. So within the data feed, the merchant is going to provide me with the product name, product description, product price, the SKU number, and an image of the product so that I can use that information on my website to properly promote that specific product. Or maybe I'm a coupon and deals based blogger so I want to make sure that the brand has coupons available. There's also the option of being on auto deposit, the merchant being on auto approval, and then also having a two tier program. So this means that they pay out a small bounty or a small commission of the referred sales if you bring an affiliate to also join their program. So you would basically be promoting their program to other affiliates. You can also ch um, check one of the boxes for status. So maybe you want to only find merchants whose programs you have not applied to join to yet. That'll help narrow down the search results. You can also break it down by category or by their join date and also by program metrics. Now for the sake of this example, I'm going to uncheck these boxes and just click for any and all merchants that are selling planners. Now how I got to that again was clicking on modify search. But I'm going to hit go and see what type of results I receive. So you'll see the results are first broken down by relevancy. So this is going to be how many times the keyword planner shows up in their organization name, in their URL, in keywords that they populate on their end, maybe in their program description, and also in their data feed. So if you want to search by relevancy, feel free. But if you want to search by who has the highest seven-day EPC, who has the highest sale commission, or maybe even who is um, ranking highest in the power rank, this is typically what I like to look for. So I'm going to do power rank and see what type of results I get then. So you can see scrolling down, all of these merchants sell some sort of planner on their website. So you can definitely scroll through and find the ones that are going to be the best fit for you. You can also scroll through by the products tab. So if you're looking for specific products to promote, you can also view the price of the product and also information about the program, such as their estimated commission per sale and their cookie duration. 
So it looks like this demo account is already approved for the calendars.com program. So I'd be able to go ahead and get their links, which is something that we are going to save for another section. I'm gonna go back to the merchants tab. And I found a merchant before that I really like, so I'm gonna sort again by power rank. I'm going to scroll down into the Erin Condren program. So again, I'm already approved for their program. It looks like they have 496 product matches with my keyword planner. I'm gonna go ahead and display more detail to see what their average commission payout, what their cookie duration is, and also how many products they have in their data feed that I could potentially be promoting. So again, I can either go directly to their website or view more information on their merchant details page. And since this demo account is already approved, again, I can go ahead and grab the links directly. And once you're joined to a program or once you've applied to join a program, this contact icon will also appear. So if you have any sort of message for the program that you're going to be applying or that you're going to be promoting, you can always send the merchant a message directly from the interface. So that's how you go about finding and joining merchant programs and making sure that they are going to be a good fit for your website. Now the next series we're gonna go over is how to grab their links. So be sure to tune in for that one. But if you have any questions on how you can find merchants in our merchant directory, please email us at shareasale at shareasale.com. And we are also available by phone during our business hours, which are 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time. Thanks, everyone, for joining me today. Hope you have a good one.